Hello and welcome back to Cryptocurrency Trading Masterclass by Wealthy Education. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to trade based upon Fibonacci levels. So, one of the most common tools that a technical trader will use is the Fibonacci retracement tool. And you can see that there is a submenu here. It normally looks like this. It's got this little pitchfork tool. You click on the arrow, you go to Fib retracement. So that's the symbol you're looking for. Now, a Fibonacci retracement, I'll go ahead and put it on, and I'll, I'll go through this here with you in a minute. You can see it's, on TradingView, it's, it's a, an array of colors, right? And there's levels here with decimal figures. Now, Fibonacci is a mathematical sequence that uh, Fibonacci, a mathematician in uh, 13th century Italy had come up with a ratio that seems to repeat itself in nature, the curvature of rivers, nautilus, um, symmetry of the face, crop, uh, as far as crop growth, all kinds of stuff measures uh, a repeatable pattern. And Fibonacci sequence is basically like this. So you take two numbers and you add these two, two together and you get two. And then you take the second one and you add it to this one and you get three. And then you take the second one of these two and you add it together and you get five. And then eight. And then 13. And so on, 21. So the significance of this is he found symmetry throughout nature and it helps with pattern recognition. So traders for a long time, long before Fibonacci sequence came about, used to use the 0.5 rate. This is 50%. So if a market rallied, say, $10, they would pull back. You know, the market would fall, pull back, and about $5, they would try to get involved based upon this impulsive potential uptrend, right? Trying to find a little bit of value. So, although 50% or 0.5 or 50 is not a Fibonacci number, it is included in the Fibonacci sequence for that reason only. There's something called the golden ratio, and that is... 1.618, or sometimes it's written out as 61.8%, 161.8%. And this is a, a ratio that shows up time and time again in nature. Really, at the end of the day, what you're looking for is repeatable patterns, right? So let me go ahead and show you how this is used. So we click on the tool and you look for a swing high and a swing low. And if you remember from the first video, I had talked about swing high and swing low. The swing low on this chart is down to here and the swing high, depending on when you were looking at this, but let's just say up till now is here. So each one of these levels suggests that it might be an area where the market pulls back to. And you may look to go long. You may look to buy it. It's a retracement. You're looking at for it to retrace to one of these ratios. The most important one is the golden ratio. That's 61.8. But 50% and 38.2 are very important as well. And in fact, for myself, I don't use 23.6, uh, nor do I use 78.6. Some traders do. Some traders don't. It's entirely up. Uh, to you as to how you choose to do it. You'll notice the 1.618. That is a potential uh, pullback as well, where you wipe out the trade. And, you, you know, if, if you turn around and you break down and you destroy this uptrend, that is a potential target and so on. Um, you know, I can go to like the weekly chart and you can see just how much of a move that would be. So going back to, you know, let's even go to a 30 minute chart. 
this gives you, you know, some potential support and resistance to work with. But let's say you're trying to use this as the markets move, right? So you're going in and then you see an uptrend. And here's the thing. You feel that you've missed the move, but you would like to participate. So you look for that swing low and that swing high. So in this case, you could draw, you click that tool and then drag it up to here. To that level there. And you draw it across. And what you will find more often than not, there is a Fibonacci retracement level that comes into play. And in this case, it is that 61.8 level. That's the basic of it. What you'll do then is you will take the trade on a bounce. It continues to go higher. You put your stop loss behind the Fibonacci level with an eye on the other Fibonacci levels. Most of the time, what people do, though, is they look to recapture the move. So you're capturing 61.8% of the move. Uh, your stop loss goes underneath here, and you just let it rip. Now, there are some pros and cons to using Fibonacci. One of the most, one of the biggest um pros is that so many people use it. it. It's very common for people to use it. There are people who their entire trading uh, routine is based upon Fibonacci. So that is something to think about, you know. However, the cons are, does it really have any type of natural pattern or is it more or less just um, self-fulfilling prophecy? And the answer to that is, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if there's anything magical about the 61, uh, eight, uh, 0.618 ratio in trading as there is like in determining the way crops grow and, and such. What matters is, a lot of traders out there believe it. So, that being said, there's no point in fighting it, right? Now, it works, it's a fractal type of thing. So it works in various time frames. So we tried to rally here, we tried to rally here, and then we broke down. Again, it rallied after breaking down. You missed the move, and you want to try to capture that. So you look for a logical place to get involved, and you see that the 61.8 level did offer resistance stop loss above there and you continue to look for the trade and this was the same thing i'm just dragging the swing high down to the swing low a lot of times you will see these things kind of match up with uh support and resistance as well and that is actually a great thing so this support line here, let's put it at 3175 for now, although it might actually be 32. But as I draw this again, notice there's your 61 and there's your uh, former resistance line now offering resistance again, something to pay attention to. Just as you can see that this resistance area caused the market to pull back to this support area. So let's go ahead and draw these lines again. So that in and of itself would capture your attention as a support and resistance trader. Add a Fibonacci uh, retracement to it, and then you know, you've got a couple of different things. At that point, you're talking about something known as confluence. Confluence is when you have um, a couple of different reasons to take the trade. Notice how it's right around the 50% Fibonacci retracement level, giving up half the traders finally push to the upside.
and this works in pretty much um pretty much any uh market pretty much any time frame so like i've got monero here and let's go down to the 5 minute chart again these don't mean as much on the 5 minute chart they are a little bit more easily broken but let's go ahead and take a look that support showed up again that support and resistance in this area you know this is an obvious area where we came back we tested we found a little bit of support right here at the 38.2 now the thing is the less you pull back the more likely you are to have an extended move and you can see we did extend it so for example if a market pulls back to 61.8 say this pulled back to here then that is a little bit deeper of a correction and that means there's a little bit more thought going on to it however if it only pulls back to 38.2 then that typically means that there's a lot more excitement to get in traders are not waiting as long to start buying and that should be reflected in the trade so as far as the fibonacci levels if you wish to adjust them you draw one on the chart and then you right click and go to settings click on style you can change the colors and for simplicity i am going to remove what i consider to be the lesser uh levels and i'm going to extend lines to the right you can always go apply defaults to get back to the way it was you can save this as whatever you want to save it so click ok and you can see it's changed completely i've got 61.8 50% 38.2 so again you know we 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 rally from here to here we pull back to the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level and we take off. So that's a 38.2% Fib pullback. I know that typically means you're going to run, so you might want to give it a little bit more time. So in the next video, I'll show you some examples of how to actually use this uh, bit of information. But this was a video I wanted to you know familiarize you with Fibonacci retracement levels and uh you know how to kind of go along with because you will almost certainly even if you don't use them you will certainly run into a lot of that in analysis you know through your trading career you need to be aware of the fact that when they line up with support you know for example you know if you see support here well you know you might say okay well is that a fib level as well well yeah it is basically it's 38.2 you know that gives me another reason to think that maybe this is worthwhile uh to trade so in the next video we'll go through a few examples